When the time comes, we fight the police. But how? With blood, guts, brains, if we have to. It may take years, and some of us will certainly not make it through the revolution alive. All right, I'll go. No, Bobby! What if it's a chance? Well, it's just a chance I'll have to take. <laughs> in the world, but they did teach me this much. Kidnapping people is wrong. Really? They taught you that there? <laughs> I thought we had something special together, Bobby. Well, we do have something special together, Hope. But until freedom rules the people of this land instead of fear, love has about as much chance as a baby bunny drowning in a vat of boiling water. Maybe less. I didn't mean to drag you into all this, Hope. Oh, what? Well, I guess I don't know what I meant to do. Look to your heart, Hope. I'm sure the answer you're looking for is waiting for you there. Deep down. Somewhere among the tissues. Wait! When will I see you again? When darkness surrounds you and you lose your way, you have your own comfort.
fight. They fight by any means necessary. The streets are still ours, Mr. Strong. Your people are just holed up in some underground sewer. Oh, ho, oh. ho. They'll be up. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Gladwell. There's a disturbance in bedding number 32, number 15 as well. Words begun to spread. People have gathered and all the rest. They're waiting to see what young Bobby will do. After he meets with you, of course. Of course. Mr. McQueen, do you remember the stink years, Mr. Strong? Years when the water tables first started to drop and then just kept on dropping. None of us thought we had much time, then and many of us did questionable things, much like the things that are happening right now. There was the looting, of course, and the hoarding. Bryce spoke out that there was no tomorrow, but there was no tomorrow. But there is always a tomorrow if you're tough enough to cling to it, which is why I'm asked here tonight. <laughs> Some people see me as an evil man. No. <laughs> but the truth is, I'm no more evil than you, or Miss Pennywise, or any of those poor people you insist on trying to lead. I'm just a simple man, trying to cling to tomorrow, every day, by any means necessary. But what happens when the drought is over? Over? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can always hope, I suppose. But until then, our regimen of controlling consumption through the regulating mechanism of cash must continue. Ah, uh, yes, the regulating mechanism of cash. Bobby, I want you to have this cash. And I want you to tell the people that the powers that be grant full amnesty to those involved in this week's criminal activities as long as they're willing to go back to the human group fee schedule as approved by the legislature. Don't let it happen again and have a good time in the field. So many tomorrows. Yes. But I'm afraid my conscience will cost you more than a pile of cash, Mr. Gladwell. Bobby, it really is an awful lot of cash. Free access is the only cash I'm interested in. I thought we had an understanding, Bobby. And understand this. If there truly is a way to that bright new tomorrow, we'll find it together, all of us, not just the wealthy few. And that means free access. Free access is impossible. Then that's what I'll tell the people. Stop! We'll not return to the stink years, Mr. Strong. I won't allow it. Oh, well, what are you doing? I spent years riding the police, paying off the political elite, and snuffing out popular resistance as if it were a non baby bunny in the palm of my hand, my right hand. I've centralized all power to a pinpoint spot. Right here, between these two ears. And I'm not going to allow some dreamy-eyed boy who can't remember the stink years to ruin all that. Seize him! Don't do it, Caldwell! There's no telling what they'll do to the girl! That's just a chance I'm going to have to take. <gasps> he really is as evil as they say! You think just because I love my daughter and I'll stop clean to tomorrow? Caldwell, what are you saying? I close my heart and love once, I can do it again. Wash them soon enough. Wash them in the banks of the Rio del Rio. Now go. You, you, and you come with me. Why did I listen to that crook? A little bribe of cash is all it really took. That's how that craven toilet David made me cave and I'm a snook. Why did I listen to that crook? You like what, Cloudwell? You told us one thing, then you did another. That's what you did, Cloudwell. That's what you did. Come on then, young Bobby. You can't keep screaming all the way down to urine town. But hope she's still with the others. What happens to me happens to her. What happens to you happens to all of us sooner or later. Rather later than sooner, I'd say. But not to hope. Well, please, not to hope. Now we finally got you. Now you're 
in our claws, captured in our city of laws. There's no trial or jury, nothing to discuss. Now the law is speaking through us. You'll get your in town. Off you go to your in town. Away with you to your in town. Mr. Barrel, you know the drill. Is 
he okay?